Tonight, we're getting a behind the scenes look at one of the largest, most expensive construction projects in the history of the Bay Area. The new Howard Franklin Bridge is still a few years away, but as reporter Eric Waxler shows us, traffic relief could be coming much sooner. It's an engineering feat, and uh, you know that's what I went to school for, and it's, it's great to see it actually happen. Conrad Campbell grew up in Tampa playing with model trains, but after graduating from USF, He's a different kind of engineer. Now Conrad is heading up the biggest project of his career, the new Howard Franklin Bridge. He says it's not a complex project, but it is a massive one. It's over, well over 150 feet wide. It's going to carry a, a lot of traffic. So the sheer size of it, the amount of concrete, the amount of steel that goes into it is unique. As well as, you know, in Florida, we, the geological conditions are, are unique. And so there's a lot of underground foundations that go to supporting the bridge. And that's another one of the challenges on the project. The bridge covers more than six miles and will cost more than $865 million. About 250 workers are on the job here each day. It won't be done until the end of 2025. Right now, there are four lanes going each way. After this project is done, there will be six in each direction. And yes, designers say traffic flow will be much improved. I live in Tampa. I grew up in Tampa. I have a lot of friends who are here. And so they ask questions about it too. And so things are going to be better. And, and I'm, I'm happy to be able to say that. Along with the new bridge, there's also going to be a pedestrian walkway that's going to go all the way across for bikers, runners, or walkers. Although the bridge won't be done for a few more years, when the first section is complete in less than a year, engineers say drivers should start to see that traffic moving much better. Once the new bridge is completely finished, the section built in the 1960s will be demolished. On the Howard Franklin Bridge, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.